Oh, I know. You're just oh, screaming yeah. with excitement, aren't you? I'm happy to see you, too. I got a little something for you, my little niece. I made it myself. What do you think? <laughs> Maybe you prefer Transformers? <laughs>Messy. No doubt about that. So they don't need anything too fancy in regards to decoration. But nothing wrong with giving them something enjoyable to look at as well as comfortable. A more professional looking quilt would have had multiple layers and take way too much time off my hands to make. So we're going for something a little more basic. For this you'll only need two layers. One of a pre-quilted fabric and one of a snuggle flannel. Both you can find at any local fabric store. You're more than welcome to add more layers in between if you like. Then you will need four long strips of fleece for the outlining. Once you've trimmed the fabrics to your chosen measurements, lay them out evenly and place the fleece strips in between the edges, pinning all three of them together. Using a sewing machine to attach the edges all around, leave a small opening on one corner. That way you can pull it inside out and flatten out the layers evenly with the edges facing outwards. Although the inside out is more of the outside in since the inside needs to be out and you get the point. Then use the sewing machine or hand stitch, whichever you prefer, to seal up the opening. Once your blanket has taken form, now you can just simply be creative with the decorating. When I do the more decorative part of these things, I like to stare at a reference picture for hours and hours upon end until my eyes are practically on fire and going blind and such, until I can finally get the image fused in my head and get the right pieces I need. By the way, I'm using fleece for this, but you can use any unfraying material that you like. You can make it more generic, welcoming your new little one, or you can add something that relates to your interests, or maybe the little one's interests. Don't forget, you want to properly line and shape it up whatever you plan to add for the decorative part before you sew or hot glue it together. And now you have your own unique and creative gift for the little one. Whether it be your child, your niece or nephew, your godchild, or just someone who's really special in your life. Now you can find a way to leave a little piece of yourself with them.